Hello everyone and welcome to this Monday Night Raw review. I don't know how long this is going to be, but I'm just going to go right off and begin. So I'm gonna be so so we begin with the reformation of the hurt business. The hurt business is back. Alexander and Shelton Benjamin, they reform with Bobby Lashley to take out the New Day. Because Big E versus Bobby Lashley ends via no contest. And later on in the mat in the night in the main event, they have them face off inside of a solid steel cage. Bringing back the Hurt Business is not the answer. I know there are people that like the Hurt Business, but if you guys have, been, have watched my reviews when the Hurt Business was a thing, you guys know I was never a fan of it. So, yeah. Can't say I'm thrilled to see that, to see uh, the Hurt Business back. Then we get Angel Garza facing Eric of the Viking Raiders. In my personal opinion, I really feel like the Viking Raiders need a change of scenery. I feel like moving them over to SmackDown would be a nice, nice change for them. Because they've been on Raw since their call-up, so I feel like they need... A bit of a change of scenery. Uh, Angel Garza would score the win here. I didn't really find this really realistic to see Angel Garza beat a big guy like Eric, but you know, it's nice to see Angel Garza and Humberto Carrillo get built up. So I guess you know, so I guess there's no complaints there. Then we had uh, Reginald face Rick O'Shea for the 24-7 Championship. Wow. They dumped Ricochet to the 24-7 Championship division. Well, I've got no comment for uh, this one. I really hope Ricochet uh, moves over to SmackDown. I guess that's the only comment I can really bring out here. Because he desperately needs that change of scenery as well. Akira Tozawa was in the ring and he said he wanted a match and he got one. And uh, we, we got Keith Lee, now being called Keith Bear, Bearcat Lee. This is a uh, reference to a former wrestler by the name of Bearcat Knight, as I did my research, unlike most people. And yeah, he pretty much squashed uh, Tozawa in about 20 seconds. He pretty much squashed him in 20 seconds, beating him with the Big Bang Catastrophe! I would rename it the Big Bang Attack, but you know, Big Bang Catastrophe. I'm surprised he still uses that move. I thought, uh, I thought he stopped using it after he called up, but it was nice to see that move again, I guess. And we had Damian Priest facing Sheamus for the United States Championship. This was a no disqualifications match. This was way more extreme than most of the Extreme Rules pay-per-view. So I don't understand why this match had the no DQ stipulation when they could have literally done this last night at Extreme Rules, but whatever. Another good match up here. People really underestimate Sheamus. Sheamus, you know, he puts on banger after banger after banger. He, he, he just delivers all the time. He just delivers all the time. He, he just delivers so much. He's so good. The fact that people underestimate... The, the fact that people don't appreciate Sheamus is absolutely baffling to me. He's, he is so good. I'm really hoping Sheamus moves over to SmackDown as well. I would love to see him face Roman Reigns, the Tribal Chief. And I would also like to see... Uh, I just think Sheamus having a bit of a change of scenery might be good for him. And then we get... Then we get to Jinder Mahal, Veer and Shanky versus Jeff Hardy. Saudi Arabian bum Mansur and Mustafa Ali. There are a lot of bums in that ring. There are a lot of bums in that ring. Jinder Mahal, Beer, Shanky, and Mansur. There are a lot of bums in that ring. 
And I'm not surprised that the bums got the wins he the win here. Jinder Mahal, Veer, and Shanky. Veer would pin Mustafa Ali. Yeah, don't say I really care all that much. Then we had Carrion Cross. He battled Jackson Riker. And uh Beating Jackson Riker ain't anything impressive either. If you're going to tell me that this is supposed to be impressive, I'm sorry to tell you, it doesn't impress me. Carrion Cross beats Jackson Riker after a cross jacket. I am not impressed. I'm sorry. I'm just not impressed. Why should I be impressed with Carrion Cross beating Jackson Riker? Riker. This is Jackson Riker we're talking about. Another bum. A man that is just awful. Jackson Riker sucks. It, this was not an impressive victory at all. This show just wasn't feeling... I just wasn't feeling this episode of Raw. I just really wasn't. Then we get to AJ Styles versus Matt Riddle. This was probably the only bet good match on the night. AJ Styles would deliver a burning hammer. He would deliver, a, no joke, AJ Styles just delivering a burning hammer on WWE TV. People were shocked to see him use it. I'm guessing that this move was banned in WWE, but... It must not be banned anymore if AJ Styles is using it. Yeah, AJ Styles just comes out of nowhere with a burning hammer and then pins Matt Riddle after a Styles clash. I will say that was very, very, very impressive. And then we had Charlotte Flair's Open Challenge. Now this I wasn't really a fan of. I know, you guys are going to be shocked to hear that I'm actually saying I am not wasn't a fan of something from the women's division. Because this was literally it. This was literally it. When Whenever I hear the word open challenge, I expect Charlotte to just walk out there not knowing who she's going to face. But later, but, but they were promoting this, this all night long. And then we see Dewdrop going backstage to Adam Pearce and Sonya Deville saying that she wants to face Charlotte Flair for the title. I don't consider that an open challenge. That's not an open challenge. An open challenge means anybody can accept. An open challenge is like what John Cena did. He goes to the ring, he says he's issuing an open challenge, and then someone comes out, no, not knowing who John Cena is facing. Even Piper Niven just... Straight up saying give me a title shot is not an open challenge. It's straight up us knowing who she's facing. So we now knew who Charlotte Flair was facing. And, and, and I don't call that an open challenge. I didn't see Cesaro or Wade Barrett go to the authority and say, I want to face John Cena in that open challenge. I'm sorry. If you're not... I'm sorry. If you can't do an open challenge right, then don't do them at all. They should only be done the way that John Cena used to do them. They go out, they don't know who they're facing. Make it a surprise, please. Open challenges are supposed to be surprises. I will not call Piper Niven a, a surprise if we knew, because we knew it was happening. This match was really short. This match went for about two minutes. The boss chick, boss chick. No, not Sasha Banks. Eva Marie came out. Cost Piper Niven the match. She got booted in the face by Charlotte afterwards. Then Eva Marie cut a promo saying that if she was the one that accepted the open challenge, she would have won the championship. <coughs> Sorry. Sorry about that. And, and she says that she can beat absolutely anybody in the locker room. <coughs> sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry that happened again. And uh, 
But her promo was okay though. Jokes aside, her promos are... I don't mind Eva's promos. But anyway, Shayna Baszler would come out after this. And Shayna Baszler would beat the ever... Li well, I wouldn't really say beat the ever-living hell out of Eva. All she did was put her in the Karafuda, dragged her ass to the outside, and then stomped her arm on the steel steps. You know, I give Eva Marie a lot of crap. I give Eva Marie a lot of crap, but you know what? I give her the thumbs up tonight. Her selling was very, very good. I thought her selling from the Karafuda was really good, and I thought her selling after her arm got stomped was very good as well. So you know what? Eva Marie tonight gets a thumbs up from me. Good job. Very, very good job. And then we had the main event, Big E defending the WWE title against Bobby Lashley. Big E would retain with a super big ending off the top rope. And out came Drew McIntyre. And that is how the show ends, pointing his sword at Big E. So anyway, that is your Monday Night Raw review, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hit that thumbs up. Comment your thoughts and opinions down below. And I will see you all next time.